Today we're going to be replacing the existing internal components inside of the toilet reservoir and upgrading to the new Corky Universal Complete Kit. The guts inside of my toilet are currently 12 years old and this is the third toilet I have replaced in my house and I'm going to show you how easy it is. Here's a view of what I have currently. Flush handle, this um, brings water in, this is the float, this is the overfill valve, and this is the flapper, which is causing me issues. It's not sealing correctly, and I'm losing water. In a toilet, you have one water line feed. That's the cold water. I have already turned this off, so when I flush this, it will not refill with water. <laughs> And the water is draining all the way. Hmm. It appears my water is not all the way turned off. That's an issue. Stand by. All right, so I found the correct uh, water shutoff valve and I'm gonna release all the remaining water in the reservoir tank. All right, very good. My next goal is I will undo the water supply line. We'll see if I can do this by hand. can so that tells me we need to be careful with how tightly we put these on because this is porcelain and could break here comes some water get a towel here capture as much as I can There we go, water supply disconnected. With the water supply disconnected, the next thing we wanna do is I'm gonna remove this handle and uh, get out the remaining water that sits in the corners of this reservoir. What you have to do is unscrew this. All right, so unscrew this. But keep them together. Remove the handle. Put this puppy back on. There we go. Together forever. So here's your float. In the way, I'm going to unscrew that right here. Correction, this float is on with this pin. So I need to take this pin and push it out. This is just to make disassembly and assembly easier. There we go. There we go. All right, so we have two pieces. This is our water, this is our fill line. This is the excess overflow. This uh, is what uh, water escapes from to go into the bowl and flush down your waste. So I'm gonna push the water into this hole which goes into the toilet so this is all dry in here. All right, most of it's out. I'm just gonna assist it by sopping it up like biscuits and gravy. All right, so that's pretty dry. So when we remove this tank from the toilet, it doesn't spill onto our bathroom floor. 
So the next goal is to remove the reservoir from the toilet. There's only two things to do. You can see in the inside of the reservoir, there's a gasket and a standard screw. Conversely, underneath, matching up to that screw, is a nut. Now I'm going to attempt to unscrew this nut without anyone uh, helping me by holding still the standard size screw. I'll let you know how I make out. All right, good news. I didn't need someone to use a screwdriver on the inside to hold that still. I was able to uh, get a pair of channel locks on there break it loose and here she comes out all right washer and nut off let's take a look inside the bowl and so we unscrewed this one from the bottom I'm going to push up on it and see if I can't pop it out there it is one one done all right so take note of the gasket here. Um, it's old, it's uh, degraded, it's coming off of my fingers. This is going to be much thinner right now than your current new installation. And uh, it may weird you out. Also, in the Corky set, the bolts and the screws are much lar uh, larger than you're used to, but it, it'll still fit. Uh, in this reservoir. All right, so great. Both screws, bolts are taken out. Here we go, lift the reservoir off. So here's the bottom of the reservoir. This is where it seats into your toilet. I'm gonna do some cleaning right now. All right, so important note, this seal uh, from a, over a decade of use is flattened and it will not be as large as the new replacement from Cork. That red seal rubber thing is going to replace that. I'm going to remove this right now and this is what you got. I'm going to undo this. Only two things. It's the water coming in and that is the water going out of your reservoir into the toilet. One nice easy turn, off she comes. Notice, no gasket on this side, just plastic on porcelain. However, on this side, there is gasket, only one gasket on the inside of the tank. And the same will go for this. So here we go. All the interior contents are removed. I'm gonna clean up the inside of my bowl here, but I think we should note, you can see the old water line here. We're gonna use that to gauge how deep uh, our new system will sit in the tank. This is gonna be a good guide for us in the future and I'll show you how. All right, so I tried to clean it, didn't come off too well, but it's important to note with this water line, this is where my flusher comes in, and uh, there is no gaskets, so the water line should always be below this opening, or it'll leak right out. This is not watertight or waterproof. All right, so here is the contents of Corky, what we will be using. 
This is the water in that valve. This is a conduit from the water in that valve. I'll show you where that fits in. There's our new flapper. This is the ginormous gasket that goes on the other side. And these, remember the two bolts and screws that we removed? They package three. Don't fear. Uh, we don't need three, we only need two. So in this package, this screws on to the water on the underside. And this is just a piece that holds this water conduit line and we'll dump it into here. All right, so first I'm going to add the water supply. Then I will add the dump. And then lastly, we'll seat it and we'll add our two screws. All right, so here's the interesting characteristic about our water feed line. Uh, once this is screwed into the tank reservoir, you can adjust the height by turning this and it will come all the way up and down. So <clears throat> turn counterclockwise to allow it to come up, turn clockwise and it locks it in place so it won't come back down. And I'm going to install this right now. So this is in its correct position and I have it all the way up, the highest it will go. Obviously it's too high, it's exceeding the tank reservoir. But if you were to read the instructions, it will tell you that where you want the water line in your tank, this will turn off when the water inside the tank reaches the center of this cutout. So I'm gonna marry up um, guesstimating this cutout with the old water line that we had right here. That way I'm dispensing uh, the same amount of water from my, from my reservoir to the bowl as I always was. All right, so I feel this is commensurate as far as water levels are concerned. And I'm going to screw in the bottom, the exterior. It's also important to point out that uh, the direction this is facing is important. This right here uh, is that supply line conduit, which will actually go down towards that hole. So you want that pointed in that direction, not like this, not like this, but towards that direction. So I feel that right about here is a good. Now the next piece, the final piece that we need to install practically uh, is this. So you can see it has its own uh, plastic washer and a paper washer. And this red washer right here will stay inside the tank and these other two pieces will be on the underside of the tank. So if you were to read the instructions, it will tell you when you place this inside here, <clears throat> that it should be at the one o'clock position. So I would say this is 12, this is three, this is six, right? So if that is 12, that'll be about one. That's where you wanna screw this in at. And this also has an adjuster. You unscrew this, this tube comes up higher and higher. You want this tube to catch the water from here. And if this tube is lower than the water line, this will be adding water to your reservoir and it'll be continually spilling over into here. So this has got to be higher than your existing water line. All right, so I think I have them both in a, their proper place. Let me spin this reservoir over so you can see the bottom. That is the water inlet, and this is going to be our flushing outlet. One thing you want to be cognizant of is this flapper should make a tight seal. So if it sits on an odd angle, that's not good. So you want to test it by dropping it up and down. So it's landing correctly. 
If it was landing askew, I would have an issue to have to readjust. But it is naturally falling and blocking that hole. All right, so earlier I think I called this a conduit. This is a water sending little plastic bendable pipe. I slid that uh, little thingamabob on. And how this works is this clip will go here. This will connect here and then this will fall down in here. All right. All right, here we go. I'm going to push this onto here. Right, I just twisted this back and forth and put it nice and snug. This is coming in here. And I'm just going to feed this tube through this plastic clip so it holds it. So put that in there, give us a little squeeze. There we go, grasp that. All right, the next is, I'm gonna take this Well, there's lineups down here and you wanna line them up to these, so it fits on there, nicey nice. All right, so that fitted on there. As a point of reference, check out the old compared to the new. This was the old, this is the new. This reservoir is gonna sit higher on the toilet than it used to. I don't know how big and puffy this black was before, uh, but I think over time and weight, uh, it has gotten smashed. So you will notice your tank for a time will sit higher on your toilet than before. Flip this tank over. We're gonna line up our holes, and screw it in. All right, so point of note, what I did do, I took my channel locks. I had hand tightened these as hard as I could do it. And then I applied my channel locks and gave it another, I would say quarter to a half twist on both of these to ensure that it makes a good seal and no water leaks out. Now we apply this red gasket. All right, this is back on nice and tight. Just fitted. Flip this over. This red gasket will fill that hole. All right, so that's seated on there. It's not secure yet. We need to two bolts which are larger than what we previous had and so are the washers they're very thick all right here we go we got our two bolts and uh, got the gaskets there they're gonna fit down into the tube remaining and we'll uh, get the washer and the nut on the underside and we'll tighten it down all right so it's in I was able to push these through the existing holes and then I was able to, with great issue, screw these on. The problem you're gonna have is how tight do you go? Porcelain, you don't wanna crack it. You got metal and porcelain, not good, go easy. And that's what I did. Next, I'm just going to connect the water line. If you recall, this was, I took this off by hand, so I'm only going to hand tighten it. <clears throat> All right, so we slid in our handle. The issue you have to think about and find out for your own is, how long of a chain do you want? So luckily, Um, again, luckily, uh, this clip can be removed and set down as many lengths as you would like. Uh, typically, the last two toilets I did, I went down at the fourth clip, and uh, it was almost taunt uh, when it grabbed onto my flusher, and that's what I wanted, almost taunt. All right, so as it turns out, I went five lengths down. Put my clip in there, connected it, and we'll see if this has a good... We'll see if it has a good um, 
closing. Ah, oh, look at that. Straight up and down. Straight up and down goes the flapper. It doesn't fall to one side or the other. The next thing we have to do is charge the water line and this reservoir of fill. All right, water's back on. Check for leaks. Nice and dry. Nice and dry. Nice and dry. Water's filling up. It should stop when it reaches right about here. That's where the water line is, but that's dangerously close to leaking down here. So I'm going to go in here, undo that, and raise this a little bit. You know what, on second thought, I'm gonna let that go. I think that is a good balance. It is not leaking in, and I think that's good. I'm gonna check for leaks again. All right, no leaks. And I wanted to talk to you um, briefly about this. What is this? This is all the way open. This is all the way closed. This depends upon how much water returns into here and fills up your bowl. So I typically will have it halfway. The more open it is, the more water your bowl fills up. The more closed, uh, the less water you use because this reservoir fills up sooner and there's less in the bowl. Uh, talking about um, previous water, we are higher than we used to be here. Uh, that's I can always lower this so the water shuts off sooner. But I'm going to flush it one more time and see how we do. Voila. All right, well just be sure to check your um, bolts and uh, your fittings for leaks. Uh, I don't appear to have any. And uh, good luck to you.